Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sandra and this is Beyond Tech Solutely, a place for understanding tech and creating exciting narratives around it. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome. I welcome you with open arms. <laughs> And do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. This is not a tech video, by the way. Today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about uh, my farming business. If you watched my introduction video, I also explained that other than technology, I'm also a farmer and an entrepreneur. So today, I'm going to be talking to you about my farming business, how I started, the challenges, and how it's going. So if you like this, stay tuned. So in 2018, I ventured into free range poultry that's uh, also known as Marodrana. <laughs> so I complimented and joined my mom in this farming business. My mom initially started this business and she was doing fertilized eggs. And I then offered value added services to her processes. So my mom does fertilized eggs, eggs and these eggs are then incubated to, to day old chicks. So her line of business was just fertilized eggs most people with uh, commercial hatcheries they then buy um, these fertilized eggs so that they can hatch them and sell day old chicks and then there are some people with in incubators who then buy these fertilized eggs and uh, hatch them into day old chicks so it's actually a very great business for my mom she normally produces something like 9 to 12 crates uh, a day and uh, there are different types of breeds, the astrolabs, the kukos, and the bosch, different, different types of, 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 of uh, chickens. So I then realized a gap because helping my mom with the farming business, I would then have to deliver the eggs to commercial hatcheries, to people with incubators, to people who buy these eggs. I, I would ship them as far as Blawayo because, you know, if it's nine crates in a day and in a month, you're talking about uh, heaps and heaps of uh, egg crates. So when I joined into this business, I wanted to add value to my mom's business and also try to be a farmer. However, I had to learn a lot about handling eggs so that they have a high success rate for So health. after learning a lot about uh, fertilized eggs and doing that, I then realized it was now time for me to join the farming business and also complement something with what my mom was already doing. So at first I then purchased an uh, incubator. So incubators are the ones that uh, you put your fertilized eggs in and then after 21 days, um, you have your day old chicks but uh for you to have a high success rate you have to learn a lot about egg handling and make sure your chickens um they eat well they're well vaccinated and then you pick your eggs at the right time you select the right sizes that get into the incubator there's a lot of factors that happen so that you can increase your success rate so instead of um sending the eggs or people buying the eggs to send to other people with incubators or commercial hatchery, I then complemented and then started my own hatchery. So if you wanted um, the, 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 the eggs, you then buy a crate of eggs. Crates of fertilized eggs go for $9 and hatchery goes for $9. That will be $18. But if you are to sell the day old chicks, that will be a dollar or dollar 20, depending with the breed. Normally the astrolopes go for dollar 20 and the Bosch or the Sasso go for 80 cents because I mean, people in Zimbabwe normally like the other breeds better than the other one. For what reason? I don't know. Some say they're testier, some say they grow big, some say, I don't know. I, I mean, I've, I've known all the, the, the breeds and I think I like them all. So I then started the incubating business. First of all, you have to learn how to handle your eggs and then you have to label them because um, each crate have or each egg has to incubate for 21 days. So for you to increase the capacity of um, the hatching at a time and to maximize the usage of your incubator, you can put, you can load your incubator at once. So I bought a sure hatch 17 zero zero which gets uh 1700 eggs but there's the incubation part and the hatchery part so what then you would do is to load maybe 500 eggs 
on maybe day one and after day seven you add another 500 so they will come out in batches that means your incubator is always on you don't have uh, times when it's off and at any given time you have day old chicks for your customers so i then complemented this with learning how to do the e-hatching business as well as selling the day old chicks however when the day old chicks come out of the incubator some of them die when i was a, a first time farmer i think in 2018 i used to cry a lot when some of the chicks would die because it would just break my heart but now i'm used hey, i'm used so we had to learn how to vaccinate them you had to learn how to handle them if they have to hatch uh, or come out of the egg at 3 a.m you have to be awake before they're sucked into the water because in the incubator there's always a bowl of water for the humid so you have to wake up you have to know every time some of them will start uh, making sounds inside the egg so you have to wait for them so it's like a mother waiting for a baby to come out of the egg it is very exciting and then probably people would come with orders to pick up the the chicks uh, early morning i would count them i'll be so excited i'll wake up just to see if they're still okay uh so from there i then realized uh sometimes the chicks won't they won't be bought at the same time so i had then had to learn how to keep the chicks so that people there's some people who don't know how to handle day old chicks so we then had to sell them in batches so sometimes you sell them at two weeks sometimes you sell them at four weeks sometimes you keep them up to point of lay and then you sell sell them to other people but my biggest customer for the point of lay hence became my mom because into fertilized egg business so then it just became like a full rotation so you have the 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 fertilized egg the day old chicks then the chicks they grow into point of lay then they start laying egg and then we then uh sell them as off layers these are the free range chickens you see in store. So I then joined an association called Sufripa, which is Zimbabwe Free Range Poultry Association. It's located in area showgrounds and you pay a subscription membership fee every month. So our market basically come from that association. They get us tenders, people who want their old chicks, people who want fertilized eggs, people who want point of lay chickens. So it has actually been so helpful. Other than the market, they also offer training, conferences, and other different uh, events where we then meet with other farmers in the region. So as I well was starting, I then, decided to have a field day at home in association with Sifripa. So we had Medbank, uh, Agribank, they came with a for people who wanted to start the farming business. Then there was also OK Zimbabwe, there was also uh, Golden Peacock, there was also Capital Foods, and there were other organizations that went there and we learned a lot from different farmers different challenges that they were facing the market so we had okay Zimbabwe who would always buy the chickens for their daily section and from there a lot of people have been inspired people with smaller spaces because where I started is actually a pretty small space but we have managed to you know use the space okay so the challenges I've faced being a farmer probably is electricity because my line of business uh, it requires a supply of electricity 24 7. obviously we then move to backup power solar power but initially when starting um that was a challenge number two where i stay there's a water body so the temperatures drop hence it affects the the, the hatch rate sometimes and also it affects uh, the, the the day old chicks because they will always cramp together so with that if you don't have enough heating for them some of them might just die so yeah that also then the third one probably security you know people always try to steal what other people are working hard to accomplish so we then had to come up with a uh, you know tight security for the little business that we are actually trying to do uh then there are people who don't believe in your business so they just see meat when they, and they see the chickens they don't understand that you're trying to come up with a business they just want the biggest uh to cook at their house 
so then i had to learn how to when you ration the chickens because they always have to be like uh, four females and one male at a specified uh, square meter so then we ration the other ones these are these ones are for relatives and for visitors and for guests uh it's limited i mean my favorite guests not everyone the other challenge coming up is the demand there's been a high demand of this so you often get a tender that you want a person wants say forty thousand or twenty thousand day old chicks so to meet the demand at a specified time people don't really understand the hatching period takes 21 days then people want uh a specific type of breed i mean if you are consuming or oh, it's just for consumption the the, the road runner no one will ever say in a store oh that's a bush red or that's a astrolope it's just a free range chicken so a lot of people want different type of breed which might be very difficult because you then now have to focus on one breed and then it's a loss for the other chickens so those are the challenges that are faced okay so the advice that i'll give to someone who wants to start is just that i mean there's no right time for you to start i personally love farming then understand the model that you want to go for then be a person for the fertilized eggs like i've mentioned you can also have a hatchery so say you don't want to keep the chickens just buy an incubator hatch the eggs for people and then uh give them their day old chicken you can actually uh, keep the chickens for people up to point of lay. Actually, be selling point of lay chickens. So it just depends with uh, what business you want to do. Summary on a day to day, this is basically how my day works. So you have to clean the drinkers, clean the feeders, feed the chickens. Then you have to inspect the little ones to see if they are not any dead ones, and then move them from the boxes to the brooder or to the cage depending with the size of the chickens if there are any cells arising you have to record any uh chicken cells if it's cats if it's eggs if it's the chickens you have to record them then also you have to do the egg picking which you need to do on stipulated time if you don't do it on time uh, the chickens might poke onto the eggs or break the eggs then during the day you have to check on the chickens if they still water if you're vaccinating the chickens you have to lock them in so that they drink all the water before you let them free range and if there are eggs in the incubator you just have to check on the humidity to see if it's low if it's high make sure to sanitize and to disinfect every time you get into the incubator hole then if they are any alert probably there's a noise you have to go and check because they always uh, they always make noise if probably there's i don't know rats or anything that just alarms them but basically that is it i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching and goodbye So far so good, it has been very educated. We have seen the structures, we have seen the different breeds. We are strong on pay your monthly your monthly installments. Now work with people that are for example is here already. We then work with the members. Through the association, we can give each farmer also. And as a match bank, we have um, give the farmer the chicks. Okay. Then they will also then buy already. They so this is a win-win situation for the farmer and for the farmers.
Yes, but when you, when you do your figures, you think and when you re achieve doing the best of what you're doing, that's when the money is coming. Because you're free ranging, you can be can be closed in a cage all day so they have to free range and um exercise as chickens <laughs> <laughs>